work. Let me throw this question here. Okay. Most appropriate management for this patient. Um, so it kind of looks like maybe GI, maybe autoimmune, um, looking at answer choices. So, okay. 12 year old boy, pediatrician, six month history of intermittent rectal bleeding and abdominal pain. Abdominal pain. Um, mom reports that grandfather had polyps removed. Abdomen is non distended with mild tenderness in the left lower quadrant. Um, colonoscopy is performed, multiple pulpoid lesions, um, biopsies are taken, and path demonstrates uh, hematomatous features. Okay, most appropriate management. So, um, sounds like he has, is it maybe, um, well, I think for diagnosis, it's some type of, type of like genetic like polyp disease, I think maybe like FAP. Um, and so then I would think about management. So um, having the polyps puts him at risk for colon cancer. Um, so, um, but he's 12. I don't know if I'd go ahead and do a colectomy now. I might do genetic counseling and testing. Okay. Finally. So if we already have the colonoscopy, I don't know if we need that. Um, I don't think the steroids are going to do much for his polyps. High fiber diet could help with the rectal bleeding and abdominal pain. Repeat colonoscopy in five years. That might be a little too far out. Um, I think let's do the answer I have chosen. Yeah. So, you know, you, you want to see kind of, you know, hereditary polyposis syndrome, like Putzager or okay. juvenile polyposis syndrome. Um, mm -hmm. And, and kind of, you know, from the genetics, then you can kind of guide, you know what I mean? Guide kind of what you want to do next. Right. So what I mean by what do you want to do next? Right. There's a couple of things, right. You want to either, you know, what's the surveillance look like, right. Um, what's the prophylactic surgery look like, right? And, you know, talk to the patient, right? And the family, like, you know, risk benefits of each one, right? Um, but definitely for sure, um, you don't want to just jump into, you know, cutting out the whole colon, right? Or cutting parts of the colon out, right? Um, steroid is not really going to do anything. High fiber diet, right? This is not going to really touch the genetic cause of anything right and then you know repeat uh colonoscopy um you want to before you kind of put them on that right because a lot of times you do want to do it every couple of years especially with uh, familial um, polyposis but you got to kind of figure out the genetics first and then kind of go from there okay